have a more of a recency bias and can end up being your set of the year or somebody else's set of the year, in this case, Dan's. This is news on a Tuesday. Yes, it is. It is another rendition of this lovely weird type segment where you get information that you may not find on the regular show or you might but in this case you're definitely not going to find on a regular episode so today we have a few different things we're going to talk about anything from vip to a new set that is releasing soon to a follow-up to the bricklink designer program debacle just all kinds of different things just to give you that 411, keep you on the down low, ear to the ground, you know, all of that kind of stuff so you know what is going on in the LEGO community. So first off, this week is always, it's always great when LEGO decides, you know what, we love our fan base, our, our supporters, our uh, people that buy all of our stuff. <laughs> we love to be able to give them things and what they're doing this week. They're not giving you anything for free. Darn, right? Everybody's like, oh, what are we getting for free? What? You're not getting anything. I, I hate to tell you that. The only thing that you get, the only thing, the only thing, the only thing is you are getting double VIP points this week. And this week alone, it ends July 18th. And it's not just here in the US, it's worldwide, wherever Lego is sold, wherever you can buy Lego, you are going to get double VIP points. And it's not just on a specific theme or a specific set. It is across the entire inventory. So now, now is the time. If you are like, you know what? I want the new modular, or I want the Winter Village. I don't I don't know if the Winter Village is in, or I want Ninjago City Guards. I want some of the big sets, or maybe I want, you know, the this $50 set that I've been waiting on it, but now I'm getting double, double points. So why not? You know, because at the end of the day, it becomes a 10% discount on the end, not on the set, but your points give you essentially a 10% increase instead of five, you're doubling that to 10. So it's always a good thing. So that runs through July 18th. Make sure you take advantage of it. If you've been sitting back, counting your pennies, counting your quarters, you know, busting open piggy banks, waiting to find out what can I get? Oh my goodness, look at this money that I, maybe you had a windfall of Euro, of USD, of Canadian money, of New Zealand money, of South African money, whatever it might be. Now it's the chance to use it. These come around a few times a year. We probably won't see another one until I would say probably potentially October, usually around the Black Friday, Thanksgiving type shopping holiday here in the United States, you usually see it. And then sometimes if you're lucky, maybe right before or right around that Christmas time, but it's usually not the case. A few times a year is about all that you get with something like this. So at the end of the day, what you're really desiring, this is where you take advantage of that that thing you are truly desiring that the daily bugle or those big sets that cost way too much for any time you know any time regular purchase you might as well take advantage of it so use it to your advantage use it wisely and go home happy or wait until the delivery person brings you happiness <laughs> which is usually the case in my situation, because I usually won't go to the Lego store because at the end of the day, I'm not going to drive an hour away to go get it. If I can buy it online and it can come straight to my door. And there's always that, there's always that excitement of, yeah, I, I bought it in person, but there's always that excitement of when the doorbell rings or there's a knock at the door and you open the door and there's a plain brown box. And you know, here in the United States where it comes from, but you see the address and you see it's addressed to you and you're like, oh, I know what this is. I can't wait. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And that is that is that is what I live for, right? Everybody loves getting mail, whether it be a package or an envelope or something like that, especially if it's full of Lego plastic bricks. All right, so the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and we didn't do a breaking news segment on this because I figured, you know what, we'll tie it into this. Why, why go and listen to something different? Maybe, maybe that's your thing. Breaking news isn't, the segment isn't going away. It just happens that it fits with this today because sometimes embargoes are 
on a Friday or they're on a Monday or they're, you know, on a Saturday at like 3 a.m. here in my time. So there are weird times and there are special reasons for that, but those aren't going away. So don't freak out. But with that said, there is a new set coming available August 1st, 2021, because it's 2021, right? <laughs> it is the VW Camper 10279. It is going to retail for 180 bucks here in the US and it has 2200 pieces, euros. If you're looking, well, how much is it going to be euros? It's 160 euro or euros. I guess euro would be one, euros would be multiple, right? <laughs> Anyway, so it's the Lego Volkswagen T2 camper van. August 1st, you can get it. I will tell you what. Lego has done something that I'm not very happy with. Not at all. Right now, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm, 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 you're hearing me. And I'm just like, I don't know that I can do this. What is wrong with Lego? What is going on here? Stop getting me sucked into the vehicles. That's all I will say. <laughs> because now I'm like, oh my God. God, I've, I've put a few of them together before. This looks amazing. And then you add on the top of some other vehicles. The one that is coming, uh, what, October 1st with the, with the truck, with the wreath on it. This looks exquisite. I was privy enough to be able to see this thing in action between the bricks. Mr. Dan out there in New Zealand and April B. They both got an early release copy of this. Dan showed it off, had an opportunity to see it. Super impressed. It's something that I want to spend my money on. 180 bucks? Yes. Now, in 2011, they had another version that came out, but that is nowhere near what this is. You're talking a 10-year gap between new pieces, new techniques, different designers, just overall better. I'm sure the price point is much more expensive, but at the end of the day, what do you want? You want something that you can build, enjoy building, and then also be able to display or maybe you want something that's just worth its weight, right? You want something that I'm going to I'm going to spend my time, I'm going to spend my money on this. It's 2200 pieces, but is the build going to be worth it? Now I will tell you there are new pieces in here and Dan showed some of them. They are wicked. Brilliant new pieces that are coming. Some Technic, some standard, like system, not standard, system type things. But oh my goodness, how can you not be excited for something like this? Now, maybe vehicles aren't your deal. Maybe you're like, you know what? I really can't get into the vehicle type thing. It really doesn't work for me all that well. I, 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 just, I just can't find myself building it and then going and sitting it on a shelf. Well, you can play with this too. And the wheel that is on it, I think it's on the front. If, Dan, if, if I remember correctly when Dan said it, the wheel that is on the front of the Volkswagen, I'm going to say it's on the front. I'm going to make that decision. The one that's on the front... It can turn, and what it does is it turns the front steering. So you can actually steer this thing by turning that wheel that is supposed to just be a tire. That's a brilliant design. That's a brilliant design. And at, at day's end, you have something that you can play with. You have something you can display. You have something that is going to be an intricate build to a certain degree, a fun build, a new build, an updated build, if you will, because some of you are going to say, well, I already have the other one. Well, now you want the, now you want the updated version. You know what? You might have a, a, a 2000 Pontiac Grand Prix. I don't know if they made Pontiac Grand Prix back then, but you know what? I want a <laughs> newer version in 2010, which I know they weren't made in 2010. So it, anyway, that's beside the point. My point is you want something updated. You want something with newer pieces, new ideas, new, uh, new variation of building, new techniques. And if you have room, to be able to store it, build it, and then maybe break it down and store it or build it and display it or build it and, I don't know, sell it. I don't I don't know. There's plenty of people on BrickLink that would take your Lego set off your hands for a decent price, of course. <laughs> Nobody's going to pay double or triple unless it's something super uber special. Maybe they just found modulars and they're like, oh my God, I have to pay $500 for modular. <laughs> so there is that. But I will tell you what, the... The category of creator expert where Lego has really taken in the vehicle stuff. And I know they've done the Ford, the, the Mustang, and they've done many, many other vehicles. They did the, the little Fiat, de, what, last year, 2020, the beginning of 2020. That's all fine and dandy. This just seems to be a step above. The Fiat was, what, $90? Definitely wasn't 
what I expect of a creator expert type vehicle. What is coming in October what was it, 130 bucks. That is what I expect. 180. Yeah, you darn tootin' this thing is going to be bells and whistles galore. You know this thing is going to be ready to go and and it's going to be wicked. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be something that you are going to have a lot of fun with. That's all I can say really because I'm gushing. So hopefully in the future we can have Dan and April on and they can they can spit the goods and the details about this thing and what they thought about it and what they find interesting because I will tell you this. Dan had mentioned this is a potential candidate for set of the year. We are in July, folks. We are in July. It's not that far off. The end of the year. If you, if you stop and think about it, well, you're already halfway through. And once holidays hit, things just go, bloom. they just blow right through. So there is potential that these things coming out near year's end have a more of a recency bias and can end up being your set of the year or somebody else's set of the year, in this case, Dan's. So that lovely thing aside, I want to talk about the BrickLink designer program debacle again. I know, right? You're like, well, seriously, I have some updated details. So first off, if you are a scalper, if you are somebody, if you are a scalper and you're listening to this, we got problems. Uh, you, you, we need to talk because you are an evil, evil human. If you are human, maybe you're just a bot. <laughs> Either way, scalpers that are on eBay are headed for takedowns of their pre-orders. Lego is pushing hard. They are coming after you. And if you're hearing this and you are a scalper, you might as well take your listing down right now because Lego is on you. All of the complaints that were out there of seeing these pre-orders that went up and were double, triple, quadruple, the price of this thing was excessive and uncalled for. It's It was despicable. It was pure greed. And the thing is, if I'm not mistaken, pre-orders you have to have the pre-order within like 30 days or something like that. It's got to be available within 30 days. We're talking like, what, months down the road from now. That's definitely not 30 days. So I'm hopeful two things. Lego follows through with what they said and that eBay does their homework, does what they're supposed to and knocks these posts out, get them down, take them out because there is no place for that. And if you are somebody that was unfortunate enough not to be able to purchase one like myself, I'm not paying a scalper. I'm not paying this exorbitant, um, this, this price that somebody is charging me to be able to get something that, you know what, in a few years, I might be able to get it on BrickLink. Yeah, there's probably going to be a 10, 15, maybe a 20% increase, but it's not going to be 800% increase. It's just not going to happen. So just keep that in mind moving forward. Lego has your best interest in mind as far as that. The next part of this little whole deal. Okay. There were only a few projects that were chosen and obviously there's going to be more and more and more as we move along, as they move through these stages of different projects. Think of, if you think of it as kind of like the Lego idea stuff, you're, you're, you get a really good understanding of, you know what, we're moving along and Lego is going to, during this period, they're going to create this during this period, they're going to create this. And I don't mean just specific, specifically Lego. I mean, under the brick link umbrella, because there are oodles of umbrellas for Lego, obviously. But the castle in the forest, specifically, that was one that everybody was trying to get after. Well, there was a glitch that allowed 10,000 of you folks, well, I think you could order more than one at that time. But anyway, this glitch allowed 10,000 to be ordered instead of 5,000. And here's what Lego is doing. They're going to keep the honor system going. They're going to honor your purchase or purchases and they are going to allow that to go through. So kudos to them. I don't know how the glitch happened or whatever. All I know is I'm, I'm glad they weren't like, oh, nope, first 5,000, the rest of you, sorry, here's your angry email or your email where you're going to get angry and, 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 and freak out. And, oh, what? I, I got in. So I'm glad that they are doing that. Now, moving forward, they are only going to allow in this, in this program, they're only going to allow you to purchase one of each product. If, if you want to do all, let's say there's five of them and you want to support all five of them, you can do that, but you can only purchase one of each or pre-order one of each, which I think is going to cut down on scalping to a certain degree. You don't need more than one. You might love it, but you don't need more than one. Now, I don't know. I don't really know how they track this stuff. Maybe it's through IP address. Maybe, 
But from what I understand is wherever the shipping address is going or the name on the credit card or the credit card number, that's how they're tracking it. So there are ways around it, yes. But if you're talking about something like this where it sold out in what, 20 minutes? It's going to be, it's going to take a lot more legwork for somebody to purchase it, hope that they get back into the server and use, maybe, maybe they have an IP blocker, use that use a different credit card under a different name, under a different shipping address. I mean, there are things that you have to check off on that list to be able to get more than one moving forward. So I, I appreciate what they are doing to be able to stop the, the tide of these fools that are trying to just go in and buy 10 of them. Obviously it wasn't 10, it was like five, I think. But multiple copies of this so that you and I and Bob down the street can be able to enjoy something that, we don't have to pay this heavy, heavy price in the secondary market. So kudos to them for being able to knock that out of the park and, and just kind of bring that down. Bring the demand up. Yes, the demand is still there, but take out of the equation kind of the fools that are all over the place that think, oh, I'm going to make you know a crazy ton of money off this. Don't pay scalpers. If you know somebody that is scalping, tell them you better quit. Don't pay scalpers. That's all I'm telling you. Don't do it. Wait. Hope. After the fact, that's up to you. But before the product is even released, don't do it. So one of the things that I didn't put in here in the beginning of the description of the show that I wanted to just take a quick second and chat with you guys about. So Beyond the Brick. Beyond the Brick. Everybody knows Beyond the Brick, their YouTube channel. You know, the Hanlon brothers, they, they go around the world and go to different shows. They interview different uh, set or, or, or designers of different mocks and stuff like that and, and, and show what they built and how they created it and their backstory and just, just little quick snippets and stuff like that. They celebrated their 60th quarantine cast because, as you know, the world was quarantined, what, a month or a month, <laughs> a year, about a year and a half ago, a year and a few months ago. And what they did is they started this quarantine cast where they had themselves on and they had some of their peeps on and then some other peeps that showed it. And throughout the year and up until this point, they had done 60 shows. It was every Tuesday. It was a consistent theme. It was a consistent you know, go round of this, you know, you could tune in at the time and they'd be on there for a, a number of hours. And what they did is they just had Lego conversations. They had off the wall conversations. They just said general chit chat and stuff like that. Some people sitting by a Harbor <laughs> or, or in a porta pot, you know, just kind of those weird things. Right. But at the, at, at the end of this thing, I have one thing to say. It, it is a, it is a huge deal to be able to create something and allow viewers to come in when at that point in time, people were just kind of like, I, I can't go to work, such as myself. Uh, my kids can't go to work or to work to school. Maybe they work too, you know, if you're an older kid or maybe there's, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so there was that. There was the fact that you had something to watch, something to entertain you. It was a very chill environment. And you know, I had mentioned that, you know, I can sit and I can build off on the side here in my studio on the, on the other side and just enjoy myself and listen to this and just kind of go back and, and just like, feel like I'm a part of something. And that was the biggest thing. It, it was, it was like, you know what? I can't be there. Obviously none of them were there in person together, but I can't be there. I can't be part of my group. I can't go down the street at the time. I can't do all of these things. I'm going to tune in and I'm going to feel like I'm part of the panel, even if you weren't on the panel. It was it was a really cool idea. I really do appreciate how they did it and the consistency in which they did it. They could have completely backed off on it after things. I don't I'm not sure where they live, but they could have completely backed off of it. Like, let's say when Texas opened like it did, they could have, oh, you know, we got other things to do. Now it is coming to an end because they are going back to doing shows and stuff like that. And here is my segue into that. So if you have not purchased your tickets for Brick Days of Omaha 2021, you need to get on it right now. Stop what you're doing and go if you plan on going. So the dates for this thing are July 24th and the 25th. It is coming quickly. We're talking less than two weeks away. I'll be there. Some others will be there. The Hanlins will be there on that Sunday, on the 25th. I will only be there for a very short 
period on the 25th because I have to drive back to Texas. I'm not flying. I love driving. I love being in my car. Anyway, so the hours for this thing are from Saturday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now, if you are thinking, well, what do I do? If you're a gold and and or silver VIB, not VIP, very important brick ticket holder, they will have exclusive access to special activities and vendors on that Friday. So keep that in mind. You might be able to get in and be able to see different things. You might be able to go to different vendors that are selling Lego products or I'm not sure what else might be sold in there. Food, French fries, anybody, hot dog, get your hot dog. Anyway, so this is going to take place at the Mid-America Center, one arena way in Council Bluffs, Iowa. It is technically Iowa. It's just right across the river of Nebraska. 51501 is the the area code that you need to know. Zip code, not area code. (laughs) So you need to know that. I will be there. Like I said, we will be doing a live show. We'll be chit-chatting with some folks, maybe bring them into a a podcast portion of the show or something like that. I haven't quite decided, still figuring out specific details because it is going to be a big thing. I was asked to go to Brick Rodeo here in Texas, down outside of Houston or in Houston. Unfortunately, I can't do that this year. I had already made this commitment a year and a half ago, and I am all for checking this thing out. You know, the, the, the lug that is setting this up up there, Nate Flood, they are doing really cool stuff. And if you are in that vicinity or you have any inkling that you might be in that vicinity or any desire to go there, go. You're going to see some really cool builds. There's Brick Fair, Virginia the weekend after that. I think it's what, the 30th, 31st or 31st and the 1st of August, something like that. A lot of big shows that are starting to slowly come back. So check them out if you are interested. Well, that's all I've got for this episode of, or yeah, this episode of News on a Twos. We'll be back next week with another one. And I hope that everybody is just enjoying their lives right now because there is nothing better than being happy and with Lego, of course. (laughs) So until next week, I'm your minifig host, Matt. Let's bet on it.